Hello everyone. I hope everybody's doing okay. Today is Saturday, December 10th, 2022. So I'm just making a quick video. And like I said, you know, I know that like I'm really not good. I'm not really a content creator. I'm just a TI trying to document my experiences. I don't even know how to like upload like a video from another website or anything to YouTube. Um, I know you can do it through other programs. I've tried it. My phone won't let me. I just, I don't know if it's hacked or what's going on. But I guess I'll get it figured out eventually, I hope. So I can, because there's other videos that I want to upload to my channel from other TIs and other information. But anyways, this time, like I had mentioned on my last video, I have wrote some things down. I'm going to try to keep it like short and not talk too much about one thing. Because I think this is like not only a documentation for me, but also helpful for other TIs. Um, so I want to start by talking about some of the stuff that they do. Like like the what, some of the people like call these people perps and I call them perps too out of habit. But really they're terrorists. Um, so um, what... The one thing I want to talk about is just a few minutes before I started this video, and this has happened a lot. <clears throat> so I do have a car, and um, it's an old, it's not old, but it's an older car. It's certainly not new. Um, it doesn't have any bells or whistles. It's just a plain car with a plain color. Um, nothing fancy. Um... And it's very small, cheap car. And um, when I purchased the car, I was in another state. And what was really funny is they didn't give me, like, the second set of keys. And I kept asking for the second set of keys. And they said they couldn't find them. That's because they gave them to whoever's stalking me. That's why. Well, not whoever. We know to the perps. Um... And um, so what they'll do is, just a few minutes before I started this video, um, somebody was honking my car. Because I'm on the second floor in an apartment complex. And I have a little window that I can look out into the parking lot over and I can see my car. And it's not too far from my window. I mean, it's not real, real close, but it's not too far. I can hear it inside my apartment whenever, you know... I, whenever my, um, whenever I set my alarm, I can hear it. Um, so, and I, you know, everybody knows, like, mine has a, a particular sound that I know my own car alarm. Um, so I heard it, and I got up, and they do this to me all the time. And then I started looking around the parking lot, seeing who was running their car and sitting in their car, who was honking my, who had my keys and were honking my horn. I mean, they don't need your keys because they it's an it's run by RF the alarm the key fob, and anybody can um, it's you can order something right off the internet for a couple hundred dollars and it can mimic your um, mimic your um, key fob and and then they'll be able to open the door. So they just stand around close to you. They don't have to be real close. And once you hit the key fob on your car to open the door. Then it just mimics it and stores it and keeps it. And then they can open your door from then on. Um, it can be basically copied is what I'm saying. You can look it up on the internet. Anything I'm saying is proven factual on the internet for this. Um, and it can just be duplicated. And it's that quick. And so so can your... Uh, uh, um, so can your garage doors if you live... If you live somewhere like in that has a garage door I used to um I used to have to lock it with a um a padlock because they would open it and they are really very dangerous because anybody could open it they're easy to bypass and so are the sliding glass doors which they call Arcadia doors sometimes they they, they are 
yeah a, they can bypass those so easily like you would really have to like drill out something in the frame to lock it in place that's what I used to have to do um, actually drill a hole through the frame and lock it and um, so I just wanted to mention that so you know anything's bypassable anything if they make it somebody can it's just like how when um, you get a credit card and they put all these new updated security things like the little um, the little things in your card that's supposed to keep supposed to keep a high security is supposed to help none of that there, there's always somebody out there that can break it there's always some there's always a hacker that can hack that heck they there's always somebody that can hack something so nothing's foolproof nothing is foolproof so I just want to mention that you know anything can be hacked anything and just so you know those um alarm systems like you put in your house that are like there's major companies that offer alarm systems and you pay a monthly service that's just a noise maker that is not gonna keep you secure it's just meant to alert you it's just a noise maker do you know that kids can bypass that yeah it only takes one small inexpensive item to bypass that Teenagers do it all the time so they can leave and go with their boyfriends. Teenagers figured out how to hack it. Because, the again, everything is bypassable. You know? Um, so there's that number one thing I wanted to talk about. I'm trying to stay on subject, which is hard for me <laughs> to do. Um, oh, the second thing I wanted to talk about is everything the perps do is for a reason. A lot of people think that that these people are, even I thought that, and I mentioned this on other videos, a lot of people think the perps are, um, they got minds like school kids. Well, they don't got minds like school kids. They just do that kind of stuff to make you think that. Because let's face it, if you think that the, that the perps, like I mentioned on my last video, if you think the perps are stupid, then you're not going to try too hard to fool them, right? Or to protect yourself. It's what the hunter does to the prey. You know what I mean? They let them get away so far because it's the thrill of the chase, right? They let them go so far. I mean, they could shoot them dead right there, but why don't they? Because they want, they like the thrill of the chase. So that's sort of the same f stuff that they do to us. They make you think, oh, well... There's a bunch of high school games they're playing. They're not playing any games, and they are smart. So don't let them kid you. It's just a way. This is all war tactics. If you look any of this up, this is all war tactics. And there, it's all psychology. It's all psychology. All of this is run on psychology. The whole program's run on psychology. As a matter of fact, they got psychologists that developed the program, from what I'm hearing. Um, okay, so, um, the third thing is, um, people, so anytime that you post anything, all your electronics, as we know, uh, as TIs, um, target individuals, all the P, all our electronics are hacked. Everything's hacked. And there's a program called Pegasus. And that's who I believe, what program I believe they're using on us. It's untraceable. You cannot trace it back to the person using it. And it's actually a high-grade military um, spyware from another country. It's called Pegasus. Look it up. That's what I believe they're using on us. It's untraceable. You can't trace it back to the person actually using it. Um, and it hacks everything. It listens to your phone calls. It listens to your texts. It listens to, it watches what you do on the internet. It's just untraceable. Um, so look that up. And I mean, for me, every time that, from my own experience, every time I go to like a website, it doesn't even have to be TI related. I could put something positive in the comments and somebody will come along and say something negative. I could be like, there could be three, one time there was like, I counted like 200 and something comments 
And out of those 200 comments on a certain um, stream, um, a certain contact maker, um, probably only like 25 or so had comments on them and they were just good comments. But mine had a whole string of comments and I said something positive. And it was just like 10 negative things were said when I said a positive thing. So they try to discredit you. They follow you around on your social media to discredit you. They don't want anybody agreeing with you or anything you say. They don't want you to be, they're worried that if you get too many people behind you, on, then, <laughs> yeah, they're worried. So you know what I'm trying to say there. Um, okay, then there's um, also to... Um, a lot of this, too, besides the psychology part, is done. Some of this, for some people, everybody's situation is different. I believe that there's certain, I believe that there's certain, I'll get into this later, but I believe that there's like six, six different programs they run on everybody. And you they pick one of those programs, or whatever the number is, there's so many programs run on everybody. I'm going to have to investigate that more, but there's like six different programs that I'm seeing right now run on different and people and you either put it in one or the other category um, I'll talk about that later but the purpose of me mentioning that is that a lot of this is um, as you know is um, electronic surveillance so electronic surveillance means it's anything electronical so your TV and especially that square thing, I'm not going to say it, but you know what I'm talking about. That square thing you follow, that you put in your pocket and that rings and people talk to you on. That is one of the most um, security invasive there is. Because it, all, it measures your body, like when you're sleeping, when you're not. It has all that on. I know you can turn it off, but it still does it. It heck, you can mention a word and then it will show up in your news feed. I mean, it's monitoring everything you do. So when you leave, it doesn't matter if you turn it off. When you leave, it's still going to know where you're at. Know where, it knows everything about you. Everything. I mean, I do suggest, though, if you're a TI, this is what I suggest. I mean, it's not going to fix the problem. I'm not saying that if you do this, you're not going to be have any like um, do weapons or anything like that. It just helps. I believe it helps anyways. It helps me. It may not help you. But I suggest when you go to bed at night, do not shut your phone all the way off. Do not leave it on airplane mode or anything. Shut it off. And if you can, don't sleep with it next to you on the bed or whatever. Find another spot for it. It's not that important. Put it somewhere else, away from you, away from your body, so it can't monitor you. I mean, it could possibly, but just, I would suggest doing that, because I believe that that's part of the reason. Shut your TV off, unplug it when you go to bed at night. Um... And if you can, some TIs can't do this, be, I understand, but if you can, um, unplug any other um, major appliances. The refrigerator and the microwave is another big, especially the refrigerator, like any TI that's been a TI for any long time know that the refrigerator makes weird noises and so something's going on there. Even if it's just a mind a mind F, then um, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and, you know, if you can, unplug it. A refrigerator will stay cold for so many hours. You can Google that, too. Um, if you can't, that's fine, too, but I'm just trying to help. Um, anything electronic, unplug it. Unplug it, shut it off. It ain't worth it. I mean, you know, especially for those TIs that can't sleep. That's a lot of the problem. It's that damn, that damn square thing you have, a lot of it. And the other things in your household. Unplug them. So that's what I suggest there. I mean, I'm just trying to help. You do whatever you think is best for you. But if you get anything out of it, then please hit that thumbs up button for me. And continue to watch my channel. Um, let's see. Talked about that. Oh, and basically that's all I'm going to talk about for now. 
Um, I just wanted to get those. That's enough. It's overwhelming. That's enough. I think it's enough set on for this because I don't want to leave anything to say, you know, too long. Um, I'm going to start trying to make them shorter. Um, I hope everybody's doing okay. I mean, this is very hard, this program to be in. I've been in it a long time. It is very, very hard to be in. All right. Peace and love. Talk to you guys later.